Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have a couple of uh, project shares to show you. Uh, this is for a Halloween challenge I'm participating in. This one's for Crafting with Fury. I will link her YouTube channel down below. You can go check her out. Uh, so this is the third um, year that she's um, hosting this challenge. Um, she is requesting a ATC card or an ATC coin, uh, a tag, uh, a memory dex card, or a altered postcard. So this is my first time participating in her challenge. I decided to um, send her a ATC um, card, a tag, and I'm including one of the Halloween cards I have made for this year. And uh, watching her videos, she's mentioned a few times that she loves um, steampunk and she loves skulls. Um, so uh, I have quite a bit of these stickers in my stash uh, and I had to include this onto the um, ATC card. Um, so this is what I had come up with and anyone who shops at Dollarama uh, around the Halloween season have probably seen these holographic stickers uh, so I had to include this dapper looking gentleman and um, the paper I used is from um, uh, Graphic 45 um, the collection is called Midnight Tales. Um, so I had some leftover um, paper um, for my projects uh, that I was working on and it was perfect for a ATC. And uh, I just distressed the edges here uh, and I rounded the corners. I usually like to round my corners when I make ATC cards. Uh, and here on the side, I had glued down some glittered washi tape, which I had recently uh, hauled from uh, Staples. It's very sparkly. I absolutely love it. Um, it's by Scotch Expressions. Um, and on top of that, I glued down some trim that I have in my stash. Uh, and I glued down some enamel dots. Here in the corner is a bat. I made that using a Martha Stewart bat punch um, out of um, fuzzy uh, paper stock. Um, so it's got some uh, velvety... Uh, feel to it and in here's the back I just again I use some leftover paper from my stash and I included a sticker here that says one of a kind um, so yeah that is the ATC card for her and I will be putting that in a, a vintage um, uh, baggie here which I actually got from a Valley Village quite a while ago. So, so I thought that was cute to include. Um, and this is the tag I had come up with again using Graphic 45 Midnight Tales. Um, this is in a coffin shaped um, style. Uh, of tag. Um, lately I've been loving making uh, coffin shaped tags. Um, now I don't have a die to make this. Um, I used um, this as a stencil. Uh, this is from a leftover package I use uh, from a swap um, which I received from my friend Elizabeth Late. So yeah, that's what I've been using to make these jumbo tags. Um, so yeah, I just covered that up with um, some cardstock. Um, and uh, yeah, in here, um, 
on the top here is a journaling card, uh, which I layered that with uh, some paper and some glittered paper to make that border. And I popped everything up on on um, foam. And um, here on the corner, I just made a little spider uh, fabric flower. Um, this spider web tool is from Dollar Tree. Uh, and so is the fabric flower. Uh, here in the middle is a flowered black um, glittered flowered gem sticker or enamel piece. Um, that I actually uh, found in a box of gems uh, which I had hauled from uh, Dollarama uh, a while ago. I actually bought two packs, uh, hoping to find the uh, pumpkin gems that they had. I think they came in pink and blue. Uh, unfortunately, the two packs I had purchased did not have any of those pumpkins. And it took me while, quite a while to go through um, the two packs. Uh, and I just kept whatever uh, I, I think I would use in this... Um, box so yeah so this is um what came out of the two um boxes so you get quite a bit actually um i didn't i didn't keep all of them um because like a, a lot of them were had a lot of broken pieces there were you know just just gems i probably wouldn't use so um I had to throw away, I actually ended up discarding some of them because, like I mentioned, some of the, some of the uh, pieces were broken. Uh, but yeah, that's what I used um, for to, to embellish this um, flower here. So, and I just glued down some jemmies. And this is a another bat punch. And I glue and I threaded through some some uh, eyelash trim and some ribbon. And this is the back. So this paper is from um, Michaels. And I just glued down a sticker here that says Witch's Brew since 1652. Again, a skull with a witch hat. And this little sticker here says Handmade. I put my name here and 2021. Um, so yeah, that is the jumbo tag I had made her. Um, I know she, she loves purple as well. So I included some purple elements on this tag. Uh, so that turned out really well. And this is the card I'm including. Um, so I'm not going to show you what's on the inside. I've already written uh, what I want to write on the inside. And I've shown this um, card in a previous video as well. So and here's the back of the card. So, um, so yeah, that is the project shares I have to show you. Um, hope everybody likes them and hope she likes them. And, uh, yeah, so that is my video. Hope everybody's doing well and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye now.